When it comes to like running ads or creating ad titles for your personal brand or your Instagram store, or if you are trying to scale your personal brand through Shopify, um, it's extremely important to actually communicate with the users when it comes to write, writing descriptions. So this is just a strategy video. This is not an implementation video. Uh, we're going to be talking about like how to write descriptions that actually work. So I'm going to use the brand that I personally worked with and the brand is worth 300 plus million dollars uh, when it comes to their, uh, their net worth. And also on top of that, they use some of the best descriptions possible for their advertisement or their organic social media posts. So regardless if you're posting or boosting your post organically, or you're running paid ads for your boosted posts, it doesn't make much difference when it comes to writing descriptions. So just to give you a context for Foxy Bay, Foxy Bay is a brand that offers hair products and they sell flat irons, hair straighteners, they do have hair masks and skincare products as well. But uh, just to show you an example of like the description that they write is, it's pretty straightforward of like what the product is. But also, they give you a reason that why you should purchase the product or even consider looking at it. All right, so you can actually see uh, one and a half bounce bay uh, spring cur clip curler, one inch bounce bay curling wand, sleek and slave flat iron. So these are like technical terms, but you know, if you have a product line that specifically focus on a very specific customer avatar, you can use this type of description. Now I'm going to show you another example of another product as well. So this is a, a beauty product. Healthy hair starts with hair care. What does your hair crave? Very simple, straight to the point, little description for, um, you know, a post or like a, an ad that you're running. These type of small descriptions are useful for retargeting. So not for the first time buyers or viewers who are watching your videos or like your ads. It's not good for, um, for first time but if you're retargeting let's say they they went on your website they check out your website and now they're like okay you know i'll just buy it later and then they see another ad from your product line you know definitely use small description that makes a huge difference if i scroll down this one is a little bit different so this is um their whole box with with the with the wands so did someone say five styling tool in one? Our glow, um, our glow getter set has everything you could possibly dream of for any occasion for the perfect sleek, uh, wavy, effortless curl look, right? So this is just to build, uh, make your curls. Run, don't walk our, on our site to snag your own Foxy Mama sale. Hashtag Foxy Babe X, Y, and Z, right? So you can actually see this is like a very good description example for this product line. Now, this is good for one time um ad that you're running on your social media for new viewers and let's say if you are running a um a retargeting ad then it's the same exact product that this girl is uh, using uh sorry not this one this one right here she's using the same exact process uh product and you can actually see let's take a moment for the waves our glow getter set has everything you need in one tool, whether you want gorgeous curls, after last weeks, five and set will be your hair BFF. So basically you could use this for retargeting type of description. They're talking about the same product, but descriptions, emojis, hashtags makes a huge difference when it comes to, you know, reading what the actual product do. So this is it for this video, guys. If you need help on the strategy side of things or marketing for your personal brand, be sure to click the link in the description below, schedule a call with me, and I would be happy to help you out. All right, thanks, bye.